There's our leader, got a love at seven. His last approach to this turn market, Shark Island. He's uh, picked some pretty comfortable, conservative jibe angles, didn't he, Mark? He didn't have to overheat himself. He's got that, that ferry. <laughs> Sean Langman, I think it is, isn't there? Yeah, giving a bit of further advice to get out of the way, but here they come around Shark Island for the last time, as you said. Bob choosing some pretty conservative jive angles, which has allowed Rag and Famish to catch up to them a little bit, but they're not under any threat. They've just uh, traded a little bit of their lead for a slightly more conservative set of angles. I think they're also concentrating on keeping out of the middle of the channel where the water was rougher, stayed in the flatter water and just keeping it nice and tidy. So they've just got this one leg to go to the finish. They uh, may even not try and hang on to their kite all the way and even drop early because they've got enough of a lead. They can afford to be very conservative here. It doesn't really matter how they get over the line as long as they get over to first place. What a feeling that must be knowing you're on the last run and you've got that comfortable lead and you're going to get your name on the trophy. Yeah, it's looking Maybe good. Feeling pretty and damn fine it, at the moment. And they won it two years ago, didn't they, Bob? But uh, last year they came unstuck, but I think two years ago they're the winners. Well, this has been a... Uh, Get in front, stay in front type of day. These Nor'easters give a little chance for the slower boats to attack here. So, Chevy put his foot down after that first uh, beat. And here comes a gust, uh, hits it pretty hard. Yeah, all of a sudden they're now thinking they are going to have to drop the kite here. They're not going to be able to lay Point Piper there. So, the finish line is about 20 degrees to starboard. So, there goes Sam Newton in. And I'll tell you what, that big cruiser wash ain't going to uh, help uh, their chances. It's going to help. That'll You're absolutely right. Chevy's, here comes the wash. Chevy's, Sevy steered away from that and a nice little tidy takedown. So. Yeah, good job from Sam Newton. He's a pretty strong guy on the front, isn't he? We saw him do a couple of cracking drops during the week, which have made a big difference to yeah. do, uh, some individual races. And yeah. yet again, nice safe pair of hands to have in a key situation. So the drop is done comfortably, and now it's a two cell reach uh, straight to the finish. They're only about a minute away from this, uh, all under control. I don't think they're going to make any mistakes here. As you said, Bob, a lot of wash is probably the biggest issue. There's a couple of big waves for them. Just don't want to get your nose buried in one of those and do a little mini cartwheel, but uh, I think they're a little bit too wise and too experienced to make that kind of error. Well, I've got to tell you, I think you'd agree that it's a real privilege to get out on the race course and chase them around like we do in this camera cat, just to watch how really good these crews work. Just don't, you know, you can't appreciate that when you're not up, up close and personal. So, I no, hope you've been enjoying the vision. You're travelling with some real champs here, and they're going to win this. We've only got about another 150 metres to travel, and uh, the trophy's theirs. A lot of spectator boats lining up on this finish. The JJ is a huge event down here in Sydney. It's pretty big all around the world. Uh, we know we've got several thousand people watching uh, this uh, telecast on the internet uh, from all over the world. Uh, and certainly down here in Sydney on a Sunday afternoon, there's a lot of boats out to watch this. They all want to know who's going to be the JJ champion. And uh, for the second time in three years, it looks like it's going to be these three on the God of Love at Seven boat. What's he doing? Is he going to throw one oh, out? They're, they're going to show off a They are just up. making sure they play a little little tune for the sponsors here, you'd have to say. Oh, Let's hope this Jay. doesn't come unstuck. It's oh, my word. On, it's they might the be dip. regretting oh, that decision. It's, nah, it's just the windward sheet was caught. They, he's the windward sheet, and they're going to come blasting through here with a kite. Photo opportunity for all. Back chat. Here they come. A few thousand spectators out here as well. They're going to get a big cheer. Crossing the line in three, two. One JJ Champions 2010, gotta love it seven. There's some happy boys, deliriously happy.